Matt Mean here for Icebox.com with Michael Collin. Michael, good morning. How are things going with yourself? Good, mate. All good. Just chilling in the house here. Um, first thing, how's training uh for the Manchester Marathon? Obviously it's a it's it's a big 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 thing. Um how how's training going? Uh, it's been brilliant, mate. It's very, very tough to train for a marathon, especially when you're trying to run under three yards is, is crazy. Um and it's very, very long, very early mornings and long runs, twenty three mile runs all this year. So it's very tough, but we're we're done the training now and it's time to go. How long has the how for the like the training camp for the uh, for the Manchester Marathon? How long has the training camp been? About three months. Gee, wow. About three months now, about two and a half, probably in total, because I've been away a lot. I've been mm. over in Boston. I've been on holiday. I've been in Dubai and all things like that. So mm. I've been busy enough. Mm. Speaking about Boston, uh, that was the 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 management with Kevin Conant. How did that go? Went really well, I uh, Kevin Kevin went in and put a performance on, um, against a good fighter and you know got the job done, looked good doing it. And it was his first fight time fighting in America, um, his first fight with Colin Boxing, so it was it was a pleasure. With Colin Boxing, is there any further plans now for yourself for twenty twenty four? Obviously, there, there's a lot more months to go. What's 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 next for for Colin Boxing? And yeah, oh, we're adding up a few shows, um, in the summer. Um, some in Ireland, some abroad. So you know, there's there's plenty in the pot, but we're just waiting the the finalities a few things. Mm. The plans for twenty twenty four with um Kurt Walker a great win uh the, the last yeah. time out in the in the Hall um a stoppage and, and a title. What's next for Kurt Walker? I I, I was I, I heard that 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 was that that was the next step to to get to that fight and to win that fight and he won and he got the title. What's next for for Kurt Walker? Uh, you no, know, we're looking at a few options for Kurt. We we're initially looking at Nathaniel Collins, mm. um, but Nathaniel is now fighting on a Queensbury show, as he's saying with Queensbury. But um, anybody who's in the top five in the UK is kind of what we're looking at. You know, Kurt Kurt has went in there and shown his level when he had someone who is actually coming to compete against him, mm. um. And that was the important thing. He needed someone who was going to test him and try try to win rather than just survive like a lot of the, the journeyman kind of guys do. So what would the next move for Kurt be to, to defend that title and then move? Or will it be a, a European, uh, maybe a WBO European? Or like what, what would what would the plan be there? If the... Yeah, we're looking at him defending his belt um, and then moving on to whoever's next. But mm. we want to... It's not really about the belts or anything at the minute. We're about opponents at the minute um, and fighting high-quality, high-caliber opponents because when the better opponent card fights is the better performance you're going to see. So that's the aim. With yourself, um, what are the, the plans for yourself boxing-wise? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think I'm going to uh, rule them again. Go for it again. Mm -hmm. Um, nothing official yet, but you know, um, if, if I am looking, it'd be literally October, November time. Mm. If I do decide, you know, I, mm. I still, I, I half, half says they will, but who knows? Mm. You know, mm. things, things mm. change throughout, throughout mm. the year, and we'll see mm. how things go. There was obviously the, the the rumors, um, and well, not not the rumors, but the the post that you put on social media the the last few days, and it just said, I think time was that a bit of a a bit of a cheeky nod, maybe maybe to to come back in a, a return or what? Or just explain it if you can about that. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the time away from the game has been very beneficial for me. You know what I mean? You know, not being in the ring, not being in the gym, training, but not not boxing training. Mm. You know, um, no focus on 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 boxing in terms of myself. Just focusing on different things in boxing, obviously, with the promoting and the managing. But you know, the time away now, you know, starting to kind of get that little bit of an itch and get that little bit of want to kind of do it again. And, and to be honest, I still believe I still have the ability to go and do what I what I what I says I would do. And uh. You know, if if I do go again, I'm not I'm not doing it for no other reason than trying to achieve my goals. 
Well, uh, there was rumours of a failure fight, but you obviously said October, November. Um, well, I, I guess the SSC would, would be would be the other option. Who knows? It could be here. It could be in America. Who knows? Mm. That 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 special uh, MSG, your your first fight ever, and, and McGregor wa walking you out. I I say that'd be that'd be great to experience again if MSG was was an option to, to get over there again. Definitely, one hundred percent. Is you know after COVID kind of put a stop to the the MSG fight, um, because obviously everything was cancelled during that twenty twenty, um, when I was in MSG in New York, ready to fight in MSG on St Patrick's Day weekend, mm -hmm. and then COVID hit and and everything was cancelled. Mm -hmm. So that was the last time I was there to fight, and uh, unfortunately because of that, it hasn't been uh, it hasn't been back and. Mm -hmm. You know, things things in life move and change and you just gotta go with the flow. I guess be being, being in that locker room with, with Kev in America, did did you get any sort of it? Because I, I I know that uh, you know, when when a boxer he takes time away from the ring um and he's he's in a locker room, so did did that itch come back a small bit like geez, I heard, I heard this no. this no, no? No, it's only it's only recently came back. Okay. It's wow. only very recently came back and <laughs> And even when I was in when I was in Boston, no, it wasn't there. And oh. I had people coming up and getting photos and and being really nice and talking about me and things. And I was like, yeah, but it wasn't. There was no kind of itch then. It's you know over the last few weeks, probably watching a little bit of boxing a bit more. Um, even being at the the Bellator show in Belfast, you know, the being in the SSC again, being in that atmosphere again, that was a little bit. That was there was a little bit of an itch there, but. There hasn't been much of an issue only until recently, and that's where I've went. Mm, okay, what's the lure? Well, what was it like being being in the cage compared to an octagon? Because obviously it's, it's a bigger space and it's it's around. And what what was that experience mm. like to be to be at a Bellator shop? I I couldn't believe how big the the the, the, the cage, cage is. Was, it's, yeah. it's huge. Mm. It's huge. And like I was saying, if this was a boxing ring, like you're never actually going to get hit because it's so much space to move. Yeah, it's yeah. massive. So, um, but it was it was a good experience and it was a good show by Bellator. They they do do a good job on their the production. So mm. yeah, it was nice to see. Mm. With being in Manchester, has Eddie invited you to the the matchroom show about about against Gil? I, I don't arrive until tomorrow. I've got my family with me, so I wouldn't even okay. go with no nobody's I haven't I haven't been publicly saying I'm gonna be in Manchester or anything like that. And yeah. I'm sure if I wanted to go to the show I could go to the show, but mm. no, it's it's not something I would be I'd be wanting to do really. because like, I I don't I don't curry wins on I'm not really invested in it. Mm. I'm just looking forward to getting my, my, my time and mm. do what I have to do. A big fight that has been talked about for weeks and weeks and weeks and, and months. Crocker against Donovan. Is there any speculation or talk at all that Conlon Boxing could hold that event where and when? If there's any talk of that at all, if there has been. Listen, there's things going on at the minute. Paddy's obviously got his fight with Lewis Ritson. Crocker's got his fight coming up very soon. It's going to be announced very soon. Um... And then most likely towards the end of the year, those two will, will face off in Belfast. And uh, yeah, it'll be a matchroom common boxing show and you know, something that we're looking forward to doing. Can you give us any exclusives at all, maybe, on, on anything to do with Crocker? Anything you can, you can say? All I'll say is his opponent, who he's fighting, is a very good opponent, okay. very tough guy. He's on a kind of a bit of a roll at the minute. And... Uh, he was in Belfast recent enough, so um, that's that's the biggest step I can give. give us at the moment. Yeah, uh, I can oh, always give. It'll be oh, announced. It'll be announced this weekend, I think. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Um. Obviously, you're you're a huge man for the amateur boxing. Um. I, I think yeah. uh, that's that that's your um the that that, that 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 that's the bit that you like. The Irish amateur team, well, obviously uh, Croatia doing absolute bits. Um, the, the likes of Ava Henry and Dean. Have you been with, with the Olympic selection coming up? With the fighters that haven't been signed, well, would you look to any of them to, to maybe be signed to to the professional ranks? Well, hundred percent, and and I'd be very very open to to working with all the team because they know how talented they are and mm. you know the abilities there, and and I believe now with with the backing of the zone with with how big and how how no good Conlon boxing is becoming. We have the the platform and the opportunities for fighters on home soil, and obviously us being based on home soil. 
it could be very beneficial for, for a lot of the guys coming into the games or even the guys who don't make the games. Um, and there's some fighters who have eyes on and you're going, yeah, I would love to have him, but you know, who knows? Um, we'll, we'll do our best to secure a few and, and I'm sure we will. Okay. Um, so yeah, listen, I wish them all the best. I wish them all the best in the, in the last qualifier and uh, I would like to see them go and do the job. Uh, you know how special it is to be in an Olympic Games. You've been there twice. If the amateurs are watching at the moment, can you just give any quick words to the amateurs to just say, listen, lads, if you get the opportunity, what it's like to be at the Olympics? If you do get the Olympics, listen, the main thing which I can say is just enjoy yourself. Don't take it too serious. Don't take the things too serious, the, the games don't walk around with face on you, just enjoy it, it's an experience uh, and that was probably something that was said to me by, by actually Paddy Barnes because he'd been to 2008 and, and 2012 and I was there, he was just saying just have fun and me and him were going around in the village just having the crack and messing about and obviously getting up to no good in, in a sense but it was just it was enjoyable, you know. Yeah. It wasn't you were seeing athletes walking around, obviously stressed and yeah. ends going to going yeah. the fight, and you're going or going to perform whatever competition they're yeah. in. And um, it was just we were just having fun, like driving around on bikes, shouting at people, slagging people, and <laughs> from then it was kind of a that's that's what I learned from from that was if you have fun, mm. everything falls into place. Mm. Like when you're speaking, like the the crack that we have, and like would you just be going around, just like taking the make and just like what 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 would you be at? Oh, we're doing loads. We're probably in the casino a lot, <laughs> um, and then we were we were flying and about the we're flying about on the bikes, and uh, we we're just shouting at like fucking Australians and stuff, and just giving giving the crack, it giving it loud like, to the lads. Uh, that's it. It was just just pure messing and oh, and. Uh, it was great. It was good yeah. to see all the athletes. You know, you see all the, the, the legs here. Like, i seen Serena Williams. We've seen, we've seen Bolt, Safa Pal, all these unbelievable athletes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic Olympians. And, and, and they're just walking around the village mm -hmm. like they're like it's normal. And they're going, wow, it's unbelievable. Did you get, did, did, if, if, correct me if I'm wrong, did you get a photo with Usain Bolt? I can't remember if that, that's correct or not. We never got, none of us got a photo close, to, close enough to him because... Yeah. In the Olympic, in the, at the opening ceremony, actually, it was, he had, like, the whole Jamaican team around him being a security guard, so no, nobody but girls could get photos of him. Oh. So, like, took him from, took a photo from afar of him in the background. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, like, we, we got a good few photos of, like, a load of uh, oh, the athletes, right. so it was good. Um. The zone in Kerry, obviously Cronin calling for for the zone in Kerry. Um, has there been any advancement at all a lot of that? I know he's I know he's calling for it. And it's been very vocal. Yeah, we're just it. we're we're trying to get venues and stuff, and obviously the right fate for 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 a show of that magnitude to be in Kerry. Um, with the with the platform all behind it, and you know there's there's definitely fate there that can be made. Um, and it's about just the right fate for Kevin. Would the ODS be something that Colin Boxing could go back to? Obviously, September sixteenth, um, just passed. You know, obviously, unfor unfortunately, it uh, everything what happened happened. Would, would the ODS be something that he's he's been looking to go back to in in Dublin? It's definitely a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. I don't really any anything out. Um, yeah. and any of the venues, you know, you can't really any of them out. And yeah. you know, I I would eventually like to to be in the three arena. Uh, doing a column boxing show in, in, in Dublin so mm. um, these are all things for the future obviously we're we're, we're only in, in the in the baby steps at the minute yeah. still and once we kind of the ball starts to roll a bit faster mm. we pick up speed we can we can hit the whole island mm. What's it like to work with Eddie Hearn and Frank Smith um, to promote an event and to, to get an event going? Yeah it's great it's great they're they're a very professional outfit and, and they know what to do and it's a well oiled machine matchroom. So, you know, to be be with uh, working alongside Demons and learning off what they do, mm. it's uh very beneficial for Colin mm. Boxing. So, mm. you know, it's it's something that we we are very thankful for and grateful for. What's it like working alongside your your brother as well? Um I I have a brother myself and obviously I, I know, you know, but our brother brothers will be brothers, but what's it like going going into business? 
which uh which uh your bro beside you yeah it's it's strange you know we decided the open column of boxing i think it was 2020 um yeah we decided to do column of boxing for you know for me kind of yeah. i i was thinking about you no know, after boxing yeah let's let's set things in in place now so we yeah. have avenues to step into and you know that's that's what we kind of done and and We've been working together on it, even though I've been fighting, we've still been working together on it the whole time. You know what I mean? We're we're both co owners of Canon Boxing, so um it's been, you know, everything which goes on is ran by me or it's ran by him. And you know, it's it's certain Jamie's very laid back, he's very easy to work with. Um, I think anybody who works with him will tell you that, even me. So um it's not hard and I you know, uh, I know brothers will be brothers, but actually, kind of, we get on all right, okay, so it's no great. problems. That's great. On one last question to the people who say, Michael, are you going to retire? Or to the people that say, is it done? I just want one last thing. Michael, what do you say to them people for the, the statement I just made there? Yeah, listen, it's, it's not done. It's not done. How could I aim things hardly ended and now I look back and uh, on the last performance, it wasn't even me in the ring. Jesus Christ, it was a terrible performance. But probably shouldn't have been in the ring. There was a lot of shit going on in my life and in in my family, and you know, uh, it was, probably wasn't the right time for that fight. And you know, that's just the way things go. You you roll the dice and you make the mistakes and things happen. So, um, I paid the price. I lost. Um, unfortunately, but you know, uh, we go forward and and. No, I, I don't think that was a a fair assessment of me uh, in there that night. So I look forward to, you know, shutting up the, the naysayers and the doubters. Uh, and that will happen eventually. Michael, on that note, I really appreciate your time, as always. Thank you so much for coming on. Good man, thank you.